Most security experts agree that one of the biggest security vulnerabilities is the password. Despite a growing concern for privacy and anonymity, users and IT departments alike are ignoring basic cybersecurity best practices, especially password hygiene. In this article, we will introduce you to some tools that will demonstrate how easy it is to gain unauthorized access via password cracking and brute force attacks. Only use these tools and techniques on systems whose owners have given express permission and consent for penetration testing activities, such as those described within this article. We do not condone any illegal or malicious activity. Let's take a look at the tools we will be using for this demonstration. Hydra is a password cracking tool used to perform brute force dictionary attacks on remote systems. It is available on many different platforms such as Linux, Windows, and even Android. Hydra is capable of using many popular protocols, including, but not limited to, RDP, SSH, FTP, HTTP, and many others. Because of its module engine, support for new services can easily be added. RS Mangler is a simple Ruby tool designed to manipulate a word list or dictionary file. It has well thought out options that can generate words in a way that mimics common human password creation tendencies. For example, using leet speak or adding the year to the end of a common word. We will attempt a brute force attack on the target system using the information we gathered with our reconnaissance. We will be utilizing Hydra to perform a hybrid brute force dictionary attack on the Manja system, but first, we need a dictionary. Penetration testing distributions like Kali Linux often come with a collection of word lists or dictionaries containing common passwords. There are also many additional password dictionaries available to download from online resources. In this example, we will be using the information we already have about the system to build our own word list. Since manja, the Italian word for eat, is the name of the system, we will use a list of Italian foods. Using the cat command we can view the list we have assembled. We will also create a list of usernames for Hydra to use and store them in the usernames.txt file. Here we will be passing a few options to Hydra. The first option is dash V for verbose output. Then dash L followed by the file containing the usernames we want to try. The dash P option tells Hydra to use passwords from the following text file. The dash T1 option allows only one task to run at a time to avoid security features that may shut down a high volume of attempts. The last option, dash F tells Hydra to stop when a successful username and password combination is found. Got it? Great, now let's make our first brute force attack attempt. Hydra cycled through the usernames and tried each password combination, as noted in the output above. Unfortunately, this attempt failed to find valid credentials. The most likely cause of our failure was that the passwords we chose were too basic. But, how can we add complexity? This is where RS Mangler comes in. RS Mangler takes a word list and performs various manipulations on them. It has options for just about any password combinations you can think of. RS Mangler can reverse, permutate, double, change case, add the year, add numbers, add punctuation and much more. Be careful though, by default all options are on, which can generate a huge dictionary file. For this demonstration we will only be selecting a few options. Here we are invoking the RS Mangler script and using the dash dash file option to specify the input file, and redirecting its output to a new file. The rest of the options are shown on the screen. For a closer look at these options see the text version of this tutorial by clicking the link in the description. Even with just these few options, we generated a list of 2369 words from our base list of 7. By leveraging RS Mangler to add complexity to our dictionary, we are now 338 times more likely to find a password match.
Now that we have a more robust password list we can launch another brute force attack attempt to crack the password. This time we will pass the new mangled password list to Hydra and hope we get a hit. This can take some time, even with the limited credential combinations that we are using. We have two usernames and 2369 possible password combinations, so we will have a total of 4738 login attempts. Not the most subtle attack, but that's an article for another time. We have a hit. Hydra was able to find a valid username and password combination. Now we should be able to log into the system with John's credentials. Let's give it a try. Bob's your uncle. We are in. In this article we were able to demonstrate how to use Hydra Password Cracker and RS Mangler to launch a hybrid brute force dictionary attack on a remote system. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when new videos are published. As always, you can get the text version of this tutorial at www.putorius.net.